Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is a special presentation which is basically part two of Cycle 3's warm-ups for the year for civics and government. Um, in case you couldn't tell by the different title slide, we are in a new unit. Uh, the second unit of the year is basically all about the United States Constitution and all the rights that you have as a citizen and some of the controversies surrounding uh, the Constitution. So uh, for this part of the presentation, please make sure that you have opened up the template and to write down the questions and the corresponding answers for each day's uh, thematic question. Please also remember to put your font in a different color just to make it easier on my grading eyes so that I am able to give you credit for formatting correctly too. Um, let's go ahead and get started and then we should be good to go. So for Monday and Tuesday, uh, the question is how and why did America get a constitution? What key events gave rise to this all important document? So in case you weren't aware, the Constitution is over 200 years old, and moreover, it also provides us our rights, our structure for government. It basically has everything in one document. Um, that's what makes it so great. Not only was it able to surpass the test of time, but it also had many different clauses in it, which made it, of course, ever more important. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the answer. First thing to consider is that basically when early American settlements came to be, these early settlers who made these settlements, uh, established colonies, and they had primitive governments. Uh, there were different types of colonies. Some of them were charter, royal, and proprietary. Um, however, over time, these colonies began to bind together um, despite their differences in religion, culture, and basically everything else. So the 13 independent colonies began to take shape and form as they established different means of rulership, and they established different ways of governance. Uh, some of these ways we can still find, you know, roots of today in our current system of government. And of course, some practices have been done away with, and with good reason. Changing principles of government over time uh, show us how different governmental structures, different notions of what it means to be free, and different takes on religion and trade uh, began to, of course, be seriously debated and implemented accordingly. So basically what I mean by that is that as the colonies grew and developed, so too did our uh, notions of those uh, factors that I just mentioned to you. As time got closer to the Revolutionary War, the colonies declared independence from Great Britain and was ready to basically fight for their independence as well. So they actually pulled off an upset victory against the Brits uh, in a way that was, I'm sure, iconic for world history during that time. After the Revolutionary War, War was over, however, it wasn't the end. The Articles of Confederation were the first form of American government. Not only that, but the Articles basically gave all the power to the states, and this proved to be a very bad decision because the Articles were known for being relatively weak and there was no centralized body. So after that, what happened is that a constitution was put together after a constitutional convention. Many delegates from all the colonies met, and many compromises were made to give us what we now have today as that document. And of course, the ratification of the document made it official that the Constitution would be the law of the land. And that, in a nutshell, is basically the story of early America and how and why we have a Constitution. It was all about a balance and making compromises and understanding more about what the structure of government ought to be and the rights, too, that citizens should really have. Let's go to Thursday and Friday now for this question of the day. Uh, what specific things does the Constitution actually do? And why do these provisions matter in the grand scheme of things today? Um, so what I was alluding to before was that the Constitution has many different powers that show us and tell us what we value as a democracy. So we're going to look at some of these things right now. So first, the structure of government was laid out in the Constitution. The entire framework of our government actually is pretty much specified um, from all the different branches that we have, like legislative, the executive, and judicial, and also the system of checks and balances. So these types of, of things that were in the earlier part of the Constitution laid the groundwork and the framework for government to not only expand, but assume power and to keep it. Also, there's information in the Constitution about states' rights. In other words, the powers that smaller bodies have to check the bigger federal government that would rule over it. So as you're aware from the last unit, the system of federalism is what we have, and states basically implement their powers accordingly. There's also amendments in the Constitution. I alluded to this before. Your specific rights are uh, allocated in the entirety of the document, and basically uh, we get a notion of what we can and cannot do as citizens of this country. Um, the Constitution also can add rights and amendments later on, which we'll talk about too. There's also a clause in there about debt, supremacy, and oaths. Uh, these specific issues are handled in the Constitution and also who gets a final say on these types of aspects. Ratification is really important too, as of course we need to know how to approve amendments and improvise and make changes accordingly 
to better our future. Um, in, in this way, democracy is always dynamic, and so the Constitution allows us the chance to actually change the parts that we need to change for the betterment of our democracy. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate your attention to this presentation, and remember to complete the rest of your warm-ups accordingly. Thanks.